Alright. Now we're doing free code camp, responsive web design, build a product landing page, user stories number six. So we're going to need to be able to watch an embedded product video with an ID of video. Okay. So before we do that, we're going to need some more room down here. So I think we'll just uh, shrink this down by changing the width. So we'll come in here and say width into the uh, image ID. And we'll say width equals, and then we'll say uh, 100. And there we go. A little bit smaller. That's good. So we'll come down here and we're going to do an iframe for this. But regardless of anything, like here's the thing for the iframe right here. Uh, but actually it turns out when we come over to YouTube, I already liked it already. This is like the fourth take. Oh, I, I like it. Anyway, <laughs> uh, turns out all you have to do is push share right here. Come over to this embed thing. And it's going to give you this whole bunch of code right here. And what we really need is just this width, height and source. Uh, and the rest of it, I don't know. I think I don't know what the rest of it does, honestly. Uh, maybe it's cool. Maybe it isn't. I'm sure it's cool because they would get sued if it was uh, malicious. So let's do that. Let's take that right there. Come down here and we'll just put it right after this last div. We'll just V control V like that. And so now we've got the uh, YouTube right here. Is that a little too big? I don't know. If you want to, you can uh, get the proportions of this. Both of these are divisible by five. Uh, and you can figure out something, you know, figure out something right there. Other than that, that's pretty much how that goes. Uh, we are going to need the ID of video in this. So right uh, before the width, we'll just say ID equals, whoops, ID equals video like that. All right. And so now let's open up the console, come down here, run the test. We should have a form element with an ID of form. That means we are now on to user stories number seven. And we'll see you next time.